This is going to be a quick overview of the Elder Scrolls construction set for Oblivion. Uh, I'm making this for a friend, but perhaps others will find this interesting. So I've loaded it up. I'm going to open the file, select Oblivion ESM, and set it up. And you'll see on the bottom it's loading files from the uh, ESM here. You just have to wait for that to finish up. And here we go. Oh, that's nice. All right, so you have your object window, and that will have the bulk of what you'll deal with, cell view, and render view. And you can move these folders around, or uh, windows around as you need them. Uh, and you can also find various elements from the game up here. So let's start with the object window. You can open up and close each tree as you need them. Actors have all of the NPCs and creatures in the game. branched off in different ways. You can see all of the NPCs or just the Argonians if you want to. You can organize them by editor ID, count, name, any of these. You can just click on the tab. And you can click on the NPC and get all of the details. Lots of uh, boxes you can tick off. You can change their inventory. You can see uh, what level lists they use. Animations, factions, um, and you can explore and find out more or um, see what you want to change. The same as for creatures. All right, so that's actors, items. There's all of the ammo, which is uh, arrows in the game. And if you want to, you can uh, go by weight. You can see, you know, if you wanted to change the weight of barbed arrows to one, you could do that. Or it changes the value to 40. Bam. And you'll see a little asterisk here on the item you've changed. Since I changed the weight and it's sailed by weight, it moved down. So I've changed the value. Yeah. So you get the idea. Apparatus, all of the alchemy, tools, armor. Uh, level items, this is where the leveled loot leveled lists are, and this is a pretty powerful element of the Bethesda games. So Oblivion level lists are pretty basic. You can change to calculate items by level. Um, which, actually, why is that not? But you can preview. And it'll show what scan will uh, be picked. And it can change the level of the player. So if I'm level 15, oh, that's the level of the item here. Okay, I did that wrong. Preview level here. So if the level list is chosen, level 15. You get chainmail boots. And I'll always get chainmail boots. Alright. So, and if you make changes that you don't want to keep or you touch it at all, you usually go cancel. And it won't save the changes. And if you click OK, it will change, save the changes. 
and it'll have an asterisk. And if I go back and change that, even if I change back to the uh, original settings, it'll still have an asterisk, which I mean when you save, that change will override any other mods uh, loaded before it. So it's important not to touch um, parts of the files that you don't actually want to change. And if you do accidentally, you're going to want to use another editor to uh, remove those changes. So yeah, um, magic potion generally includes uh, food as well as actual potions. They're all treated the same. Uh, and you can change or add any of these features. I guess uh, you could make beer always spawn a lich. I'm not really sure how that would work, but yeah, that could be interesting. Uh, probably need a duration on that. Yeah, two minutes. There we go. It looks like a good thing. Um, spells, abilities. Oh, this is another important part of the creation construction sets. Uh, users, so avoid seed here. If I click on an item and say use info, it will show everything in the game that uses that item. So this is mostly used by scripts. Um, so if I go to a uh, ingredient here, click on that. It'll have all of the level lists that use that script. The flower. So you have vendors and the flowers that you actually pick. And you can click on those. I know you can on uh, Oblivion, but in uh, more current engines, creation kits, you can for Skyrim and uh, Fallout. And I haven't used this in probably 10 years, so I'm mostly going on memory here. Uh, and world objects is a good place to find containers in the world for you can see uh, merchant items, uh, general of all the chests in the game. Again, you go to use info for this trader, so you can find, and you can also see the um, world area. And here you can actually look that up. Oh, it's sad you can't just click on it. All right. Oh, yeah, you can. Double clicking on it. It will zoom to where that chest is. And it's underground because you're not supposed to be able to loot it. It's just a vendor chest. And it should show up in the cell view as well, which will show a list of all of the items in that cell. You can arrange it by type, container. And you can click on it and it'll allow uh, zoom in. So yeah, and this is how you edit the map. You can uh, scroll through all the interiors or different areas of the realm. Yeah, and it'll uh, bring it over to this plant in one of the oblivion areas. Alright, now let's go in to look at uh, gameplay. 
and look at magic effects if you wanted to edit any of the magic effects. Globals. Here's the uh, thing we like. How much gold I assume before you're forced to go to jail. Uh, and these are the globals that will track um, the various elements. But you can also have permanent settings like PC Vampire. You start as zero because you're not a vampire. Oblivion Crisis, that'll probably turn to one once that gate start showing up. Uh, rent, whether or not you're renting a room. Uh, that'll track what your crime gold is. Time scale, that's a popular one to change. Um, I believe that's how many real time minutes is in a day. Um, I, I forget, it's been a while. Anyways, scripts. And load all of the scripts from the game. Depending on how good you are at writing scripts or editing them. And settings. This is a pain without an actual search feature, but you can scroll through. Uh, and find various settings like arrow wage max, how many seconds uh, an arrow lasts in the world before it disappears. Um, yeah. Uh, magic settings. Marksman. So you can just generally scroll through and find what you're looking for once you get an idea. Um, F and I are both settings you can change. And once it gets to S, it is text for various elements. <coughs> Animations, character, you can mess around with features in here, like uh, for hair, you can change whether or not it's male, female, or both. Whether or not it's playable, fix color. So you can edit all these, and then I assume that would they would show up in character creation. Uh, race. These will change the base stats for all the races and any of the special abilities they start off with. I assume this counts for uh, NPCs as well as the player. Birth signs, same. You can change the spells I start off with, class, same. You can create your custom class in here, um, change all their stats, whether or not it's playable or not. So yeah, that's a pretty good overview. I hope that gives you an idea of what you can do. And then you click on save. And give it a name, and then it'll save all of your changes as whatever your name, ESP. And that's your mod. Load it up. There your game changes. There you go.